Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will discuss the solution of week 5 of database management system. For the first question, the answer is option A and B. For the second question, the answer is option B and C. For the third question, the answer is option C, 15. For the fourth question, the seek time is given as 20 millisecond, which is equal to 0.02 second, and the rotational delay is 0.0041 second, and the block transfer time is 1500 bytes per data transfer per second, which will be equal to 0.02 second. So the excess time will be the summation of the seek time and the rotational delay and the block transfer time which will be 0.0441 second which is 44.1 millisecond which is option B. For the fifth question we have to find the availability of a database management system which is having the mean time between failure and the mean time to repair. For this question, the mean time between the failure is nothing but the average time between the failures and the mean time between the failure will be equal to the total available time divided by the number of failures and the mean time to repair is the average time taken to repair the system which will be equal to the total unavailable time by the number of failures so the availability will be total available time divided by the summation of total available time and total unavailable time so availability will be mtbf which is mean time between failure divided by mtb the summation of mtbf and mttr varies which will be equal to 97. Point 95 percentage which is option C. For the sixth question the answer is option B 613. For the seventh question the answer is option B 8. For the eighth question we have been given the following statement and we have to arrange the given statement in an order so if the required block is not the main memory buffer then the programs calls on the buffer manager and the buffer manager it allocates the space in the buffer for the block and replaces some other block and also reads the block from the disk to an available block which re returns the address of that block in the main memory to the requester so for this the answer is option d so uh, which is 2413 will be the arrangement of the statement for the ninth question the following schema is given and we have to find the refined optimal schema for the following so option a and option C have redundancy so they are not optimal and option D cannot preserve the dependency hence it never can meet the requirement. So option B is the only option which will preserve all the dependencies and it is optimal. So for this answer is option B. For the 10th question the size of the Flash memory is given as 128 GB. Converting it to bytes, we get the following. And the size of the page is 2,400, 2,048 bytes. And the so the number of page will be equal to the size of the flash memory divided by the size of a page, which is equal to 2 to the power 26. And the size of the page address is 32 bits, which is nothing but 4 bytes. So therefore the size of the flash transaction 
translation table will be number of page multiplied by the size of the page address which will be 256 MB which is option A. If you have got any different answer please let me know in the comment section and before the final submission of your assignment do check the pin comment if there is any changes in the answer I will pin it in the comment and if you are new to the channel subscribe the channel and like the video and share the video with your friends thank you for watching the video